New since four, an inside look at the technology that helped get an Orlando police officer out of a tense situation. Body cam video shows what the police chief is calling an unprovoked attack. Now, this happened last night while that officer was working as a crossing guard along John Young Parkway. New 6's Nadine Giannis is at the intersection with how the officer's body camera helped get results. Orlando's police chief says his officer was just sitting in his car working as a crossing guard because they didn't have one here when this attack came and it was unprovoked. It was also caught on body camera footage and thanks to new technology, it was live streamed back to OPD headquarters where they elevated this call to an emergency. Get on the ground now. You could tell that the fight was going to be on and it was going to be on quickly. Listen, get on the ground right now. You don't know about me, I don't know about you, but... An Orlando police officer right working in the capacity of a crossing guard used his taser not once, but twice, and then tried to pepper spray the suspect, 33-year-old James Massetti, before police say he attacked. But it also goes to show the dangers that our officers face every day. Sitting in your car, waiting for the kids to, the kids to come, uh, attending to a school crossing position, and suddenly being faced with an individual that, again, took the actions that he took. Very troubling. Not only was it caught on camera, but streamed back live to OPD's new crime center as the attack was happening. They could see what was going on live. Thanks to new technology. They were able to see that the officer was now on the ground, and then they upgraded the assistance called. Somebody hurry, I'm starting to feel dizzy, he punched me in the head. We've had numerous uh, saves so far in the short period that we've had the new technology. Crediting the technology and the officer's restraint in a situation where police don't know why the attack happened in the first place. Some may question, was he mentally fit to be out there? What we know for a fact is that he is a violent individual who is not afraid to fight the police, especially when he's outnumbered. Orlando police saying Massetti has had nine previous felony arrests, including battery on an Orange County deputy at the jail just in October. He's now back in jail, facing another felony battery on a law enforcement officer tonight. In Orlando, Nadine Giannis getting results, News 6.